Oscar TV at the Sunset Speedway, the first of two nights in the 14th annual Don Peterman Memorial, standing alongside night one winner Dwayne Baker. And Dwayne, uh, in short, this car was an absolute rocket ship tonight. You guys laid down the fastest time in time trials uh, and started on the pole here tonight and you never looked back. I mean, what was it about the, the super late model tonight that you guys were able to figure out? Well, we haven't really changed anything since uh, opening night, the first night, and we tested last night. The car was awesome. And we haven't changed nothing since uh, then, so all we did is put new tires on it. But, man, I never had a car that good. Like, it was, she was a rocket. It seemed as though the only time you were going to get a challenge was on the restarts. Kevin Cornelius ran you side by side for a couple of laps, but uh, once you guys got that car up to speed, it seemed as though nobody really had anything for you. Did the, did the green flag runs help you, or, or were you guys going to better on those short runs at the end of the race when we had uh, a couple of cautions? No, the car was pr probably better on long runs, but because uh, once it got rolling, it was quicker. The restarts it really hurt us because of more power motors would be on us like that three wide there on the on the one restart was pretty wild but it, it was good it was good good racing and we had a good car i, I think we we saw uh how, how good the race car was uh, towards the end of the race you talked about the, those restarts uh, and everything else and and the battle that you guys had to go through and, and to get a, a win tonight your first win with oscar since uh, i believe may of 2010 so I mean, how good does it feel to get a win here tonight? Oh, it feels really good because we never raced at all last year. So uh, we uh, we were gonna give her with this new car for uh, this year and try and run as much as we could, and then uh, next year we'll probably run a full year, try and go for a championship. I mean, on a normal year, I mean, we changed the format for the Biederman Memorial this year. But on a normal year, you guys are the Biederman champions. But tonight, we got to, or this year, we got to go back and do this all over again yeah. tomorrow night. I would think that if you guys were to finish on the podium tomorrow night, you would stand a pretty good shot at winning this yeah. uh, Don Biederman Memorial. Uh, what would it mean for you guys to win the Don oh. Biederman Memorial? Oh, it's pretty big. It's like probably the biggest race in Ontario. So, uh, well, just look at the cars here, 32, 33 cars. And... And they're all good cars, good quality cars. So uh, it's it's uh, it'd be probably the biggest deal if I if I won. It'd be biggest deal I ever won. So it'd be nice to win it. I know you guys said you didn't make any changes from opening night, but have you thought about anything that you might be able to improve for tomorrow? I don't think so. I think we're just gonna put four tires on it and go. That'll be basically it. I don't know what to change on the car. The car's so well balanced. It's my son could have probably won the race. <laughs> <laughs> if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Yeah. Uh, I know there's a lot of good people behind this car and a lot of good sponsors, so go ahead. Thanks to people for us. Oh, I got the, I got a couple of the best sponsors. I got Zancar Homes, which has been with us for a long time. Uh, Gore Coach, JD Coach, Suzuki, uh, Centennial Chrysler, Four Valley Excavating, and uh, Clearview Heating, and Baker Performance Parts. Thanks a lot for your time here tonight, Dwayne. Hopefully we we'll see you back here tomorrow night. Yep, let's go get drunk. <laughs> for Oscar TV at the Sunset Speedway, round number one of a double shot weekend in the books here for the Oscar Super Late Models. For Oscar TV, I'm Clayton Johns.